In today's demo by LearningComputer.com, we are going to focus on Microsoft Word 2013, and uh, it's going to be a quick demonstration on basically how to use Find and Replace feature that is uh, available in uh, Word 2013. So basically, uh, you know, where do you find these options? Um, I'm pretty sure you have used uh, this in the past. We may highlight some new things that you may not be aware of, but uh, specifically in Word, uh, you can get these in the home tab under the editing group. Now find as you can imagine is used to uh, locate uh, not located, locate specific text in the document. The short keys for this one are control plus F okay and we are going to search for uh, the term car insurance in our blog post that we have up and ready and I'll show you these in a few moments here. Then we will uh, also look at the match case and the wild card option you may not be aware of these and uh, next we will move on to the replace feature which goes hand in hand with the find feature this obviously is used to guess what change a specific text to something else and the shortcut keys for this are uh, control plus H and I'm going to show you actually other short keys also that you can use for the ribbon uh, but uh, keep these in mind and then we are also going to replace cash with ABC uh, plus use some other formatting options in the project plan document and then finally we will end with uh, highlighting some uh, some of the options which uh, which are on the go to tab this is um, pretty handy especially if you have a large document and you're trying to find some specific information so we will uh, look at that as well so at this point let me go ahead and switch to uh, Microsoft Word like I said uh, here you know here is our blog post okay it, it talks about what does a good car insurance cover um, okay <clears throat> and so let me uh, fix this by the way but anyway we are trying to find the term uh, let's say car insurance in here okay how do we do that well like I mentioned you have to be in the home tab right you're going to go to the editing group and then you're going to select find okay now you will notice one thing that's different in this version is you have basically two different features you have a simple find and we also have the advanced find okay now the one we're getting right now is a uh, simple find so let me just uh, let's go ahead and type this car insurance when I did that it actually found uh, basically it highlighted you know the instances of that term now you can click on these drop down and it can basically it will take you uh, to that text and you can see it's a, it's a little bit live preview on the left side as it's going it's showing you the text that uh, you know that it's uh, being highlighted uh, let me just kill this one and I'm going to actually uh, let me just go ahead and save car insurance so I can uh, work with it so I don't have to type it in every time I'm going to copy this and then in this time instead of clicking anywhere I'm going to simply hold the control key and F as in Frank key okay now it obviously brings the same dialog box but check this out when you click on this drop down here you actually have an option for an advanced find okay and this obviously is the you know is the one that we're used to which I'm sure you have seen before okay but this time I'm going to click on more okay and I'm going to point a couple of things in here first of all uh, you know you have obviously the match case and the use while characters we will look at those but uh, you know keep this in mind that you can actually do a reading highlight also and when you click that I can select highlight all and now if I get this big screen out of the way you can see that in my document it actually highlighted the terms uh, you know in the document okay so coming back to the screen uh, if I do that now uh, I want to point a couple of things here the match case that's interesting basically what that means is that not only do I want you to find something but I want you to exactly match this uh, term not only the term but you know the casing so in other words uh, in, in our case it's lowercase uh, letters so if there's an instance with the you know maybe capital letters or whatnot, skip that. Okay, so let's just select this and let's try to do um, this time. I'm going to maybe you know just do find next at a time. Okay, so let's do find next. 
in fact let me do this I'm going to uh, go back to control F and clear I want to clear this uh, highlighting which I believe it's gone now okay so that's good and then I'm going to select match case and then do find next okay start at the beginning sure let me do that <coughs> okay so it found that one but you'll notice right above this board right here see this term right here in my opinion it should not find this one so we'll see if it skips that over that or not so I'm going to click find next okay so it found that one but notice it skipped this one right in the second line so that's that's how you use uh, the match case it does not um, it focuses just on that specific formatting if you will okay so that's pretty cool let's uh, let's try something else I want to use the wild character well uh, let's say we start with INS and this time we're going to put the asterisk or the star and I'm going to choose the option used wall cards okay and then do find next well what does that do let's just uh, in fact let's just do uh, let's just do highlight all so we can see it in action and I'm going to move this big screen out of the way I do apologize my resolution is uh, pretty low so I don't have a whole lot of real estate to work with but um, but let's let's take a look at this anyway now you can see that all the highlighted terms they start with what INS okay but a lot of them are insurance but look at this one this is uh, it says instantly affordable okay but it does start with INS it found that um, it does have another term down here installment cost so that's one way you can use the um, the match uh, the matching feature using wildcards okay uh, definitely keep that in mind so that's really all I wanted to talk about the find there's not a whole lot to it but let's move on to replace like I said it is used to replace uh, text the short keys are control plus H and then we are going to switch to a different document and uh, switch uh, cache with ABC so let me show you this this is my uh, uh, essentially it's a project plan document it's a fairly big document for cash manufacturing if I go down you can see uh, you know there's lots of there's our table of contents uh, executive summary project scope lots of detailed information in here okay but let's say for some reason we we uh, didn't type this right it was supposed to be you know ABC manufacturing instead of cash manufacturing how do we do that okay well you need to do uh, replace okay and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to obviously my home tab editing group and I'm going to select replace okay and you can see that the shortcut is control H now you'll notice that before we were under fine now we are under the replace tab well what do you want to replace it with ABC okay and we can uh, we can go ahead and do that let me um, let me just uh, replace a few instances of these so I'm going to hit replace and notice this will this should switch to ABC manufacturing <clears throat> uh, let's see replace that one okay so you can see that that it's as we're going through it's definitely replacing okay well that that's good but how about this now not only do I want to switch the the text but I would like to apply some formatting see down here where it says replace you can actually you know apply formatting as part of your replacement okay and how would this be useful well think about it maybe you know you are working with a document and you were revising something and you wanted to highlight uh, certain areas okay for the for the other reader or whatnot you can apply specific formatting and I'm going to show you two things in here I'm going to apply um, a bright red color and I'm also going to make the target word and underline so what that's going to do is like it just shows you everything uh, you know that says cash will be replaced by ABC not only that it will be red in color and underlined okay so I think that should be good and let's just go ahead and do a replace all it looks like it just found a few instances of cash only 249 and it says do you want to continue search from the beginning yes what that basically means is I guess it found two more uh, and let's kill this one that you know it starts searching from wherever you were in your document okay so let's me go straight to the top okay I wanna go go all the way in the beginning okay 
and uh, start showing you see here is one so this would this one actually said caches backup right and we saw at the beginning of the document started with cache manufacturing and now it's ABC manufacturing okay <clears throat> and I think it, it skipped some of these already because uh, this one I already had changed to ABC so something that was already changed uh, you know it didn't uh, it didn't change that as you can see okay but uh, clearly it made uh, quite a bit of change throughout the document and we can see that so that's that's how you do uh, the replace feature again and you can apply uh, and you know you can do the same thing like I mentioned with the let me go back to this again and do control H you can definitely uh, do the wildcard and all, all of that other stuff too uh, since I already showed you this I'm not going to highlight that but let me uh, let me do let me point one more thing so let's say you're in here and obviously you can do control H but maybe you cannot remember that how do you remember some of the keys well there's another way all you do is you hold on the alt key so let me write this down in here which is going to be the uh, you know ALT alt key okay it's right next to the space bar so you're gonna hold that down and guess what notice the ribbon right now we have all these other options okay now if I'm trying to get to the home tab I'm going to click which one notice right here it says H right so I'm going to hit H and now I'm getting something by the editing group okay it's actually a little bit hard to see because uh, the editing group is kinda small but uh, it looks like it's ZN okay now I have uh, three options well what are you trying to do are you trying to find then you would do FD if you're trying to replace you're going to do R okay and when you did, did that you got to the same place so it's a little bit uh, I guess you know a little bit uh, cumbersome but you can just do control H and it'll get you there too okay the last thing I want to mention is our go to tab this uh, not many people use it uh, you know maybe some people don't even realize it's there but it is right there right next to replace okay how can you, this be useful well like the project plan document we're working on you can see that it's fairly big it's only got 98 pages if you look down here you know what if I wanted to go to a specific page maybe 45th page okay you can type that in and you can go to that 45th page okay and uh, when I did that uh, <clears throat> down here you can see now it says page 46 and 98 okay well let's say maybe I want to go back to to the beginning you can easily do that okay and there's other areas too you can work with sections you can, I also li like this feature of lines let's say I want to get a certain line item okay maybe it's a legal document and on line third 136 they have some legal disclaimer so you put that in there click on go to now we are on line 136 okay so that is definitely useful uh, play around with that but I think that's uh, that's all we were going to discuss here um, definitely check out our uh, YouTube channel for other videos and our website learningcomputer.com I have this up in here uh, we have lots of uh, information on Microsoft Office uh, videos uh, training demos and whatnot some programming we also have a blog that uh, you know we generally uh, post on a regular basis so I do want to thank you for watching the video